out of all the parks that are getting a coaster in 2020. Us coaster enthusiasts always look to the next year and what parks could get a new coaster. 2020, as of now, it was one of the best coaster years yet, but from what we have seen, 2021 may even be better as there are multiple parks that could get a coaster in 2021. Rides such as Iron Gwazi, Jersey Devil, Orion, Pantheon, Candymonium, and Icebreaker are all of the fantastic coasters opening in 2020, so it would be very hard to, for 2021 to be a better year, but I think it will happen. But what I'll be doing in this video, of course, is pretty much going through what parks could get new a new coaster in 2021. Let me tell you, there are a lot, and I'm definitely not saying that these parks will get a coaster in 2021. These are all predictions. So, buckle up. This is going to be a long one. But most importantly, before we start, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more videos on coasters often. Also, if you want to see more, make sure to follow our social media pages for updates and much more. Now, as we start with our first opinion, that is at Cedar Point. Now, there are definitely a lot of possibilities for this park. But I did do a full video on this, going through every idea I could see happening. So go check out that video if you want to see that. So that leads to our actual first opinion of this video. That is at King's Dominion. And of course, they did remove Volcano of the Blast Coaster. So that obviously did open up this huge huge amount of space and there are many rumors to what could come and replace it. Volcano did take up a huge space so there are definitely a lot of coasters that could take it up as the first one is probably the most likely and was rumored a ton with some of the details being linked leaked that is a wing coaster. I definitely think that this would be a great fit a GP pleaser is what it would be because there is no wing coasters at Busch Gardens and it would be the first in the area even though the layout as shown in the blueprints is not the best but that was scrapped. But don't go in the comments yet. Of course, what we all know will most likely happen in 2021 is in the Crips old spot. That is a surprise is all. That is a SNS 40 free spin. Something Cedar Fair has never done. I definitely think that there are better options such as the Gerskauer Infinity Coaster or GCI. But the good thing is that this would not take up where Volcano was. So maybe in a couple years, they could take their time and could add an original, original coaster. It makes up for them removing Volcano so they don't have a gap in their lineup so they can now come back to competing with Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Now, as we go to Knott's Berry Farm, there is a heavily rumored Ghost Town expansion even though they are very landlocked. But as you can see here, there is space even though those buildings are used for Knott's Scary Farm. I think this would be a great and very big investment as that has been rumored, but there is not that much space for, you know, a really big coaster. So for sure, something smaller needs to come and I came up with two opinions that one of my opinion is what Cedar Fair is most likely to do and that's the first of its kind it's a launched RMC Raptor I could definitely see Nosprey Farm doing this because it is unique and will not take up that much space but it does not have to be a launch coaster even though this would be really cool and probably a better ride I just for some reason see Cedar Fair bringing this park a ghost town western themed Raptor coaster and maybe something like Railblazer with a rock work as theme but then my less likely possibility is almost not happening at all because these have not been added to a park in a long time. And that is Intamin Megalite. And the reason I think the Nosberry Farm could get the, it, this because it fills their lineup and need for great ejector airtime. It does not take up that much space. Of course, it would have a Western theme and we would hope that it would be really good like Puritan. But overall, if, it was, if I was Nosberry Farm, I would definitely go with the Raptor also because that are cheaper as we get to another Cedar Fair Park. This is Carowinds and out of all the Cedar Fair Parks in my opinion, this is definitely the least likely for 2021, even though I think this could come after that year and there are a lot of coasters that could come here and also the idea of an RMC conversion that could do with Hurler. If they went with this, they would have to make it different enough from Twisted Timbers because they were both converted to an RMC from the exact same coaster, but I also could see them going a 
different route because Hurler is not a bad ride compared to what the other Hurler was at King's Dominion. So that is the least likeliest in my opinion, but there are two other coaster possibilities that could come to this park and would both be if they remove dinosaurs alive. And man, this would open up a lot of space and will be absolutely perfect for a GCI. This is by far the most likely in my opinion because that space is perfect and of course Cedar Fair has removed two dinosaurs alive already and for a new attraction at Cedar Point for Frontier, Frontier Island and at King's Island for Orion. It would fit in between Afterburn and Intimidator and would just make a perfect fit for the new premier wooden coaster but then finally I think that just maybe they could get a launched b and wing coaster. This was more of a fit before Copperhead Strike because they did not have a launch coaster or wing coaster but now they just don't have a wing coaster so it's not as much likely now. And then the last Cedar Fair Park that could get a coaster in 2021 is California's Great America and I think that they could receive either a B&M Hyper Coaster because that has been rumored for a long time and either an RMC Treatment to Grizzly their old tame wooden coaster would definitely help their lineup as they're starting to really have an elite lineup with Railblazer, Gold Striker, Flight Deck, and maybe this 2021 coaster. They could also get a BNM Hyper because it was heavily rumored, even though it could be expensive. But as always, BNMs are very reliable and eat up a lot of crowds. I could definitely see that. Now, let's get to Six Flags. Now, of course, Six Flags is not really doing well, so obviously, they will not be spending as much money in 2021. So, I only have two parks that could get something, starting out with Magic Mountain. With when they removed Green Lantern, it did not open up that much space but with maybe their water ride removed, it could make some decent space for these two attractions I have as a possibility. Starting out with a Mac Power Splash, and in 2019, we just saw Six Flags Over Texas almost done with Aquaman, so this could be a great fit at Magic Mountain for the hot summers. And plus, to deliver some thrills, also naming Aquaman the same as Over Texas, and then my other option is also very likely, that is a Jersey Devil clone, and it would for sure have a DC theme. It would fit really good because Jersey's Devil is not that big, but also, they could be original, but but knowing Six Flags, we know what they will probably happen, even if it is Magic Mountain's 20th coaster. Six Flags Over Georgia is next, and I actually have three ideas for this park, and they are all realistic because they are something I could definitely see Six Flags doing. The first one is by a mile the most probable. That is a 40 free spin. In the space, I have supposed their old water ride that has not oper operated in a long time is kind of perfect because of that narrow space it takes up. But there also could be a ride that goes beyond where the ride was, and that could maybe be a Max Force clone, or it could be any other SNS launch coaster because I would expect a fast acceleration. It would really be good for the park, and so would another RMC at the park, and I'm supposing an RMC Raptor, and once again, this would only take up the space where their water ride was. It would be a fantastic ride, and will probably be better than Twisted Cyclone, which would surprise some people. And finally, we get to the SeaWorld chain starting out with their Orlando Park and this is pretty plain and simple in my opinion they already have filed plans for it and this is a BNM wing coaster I did do another video where I went all in depth talking about this and I know people have said this could be a surf coaster that BNM has rumored as their new model but I definitely think that is not likely especially for SeaWorld Orlando and then next as SeaWorld San Antonio at least I think this will happen almost guaranteedly for 2021. That is our premier ride, Skyrocket 2. Like all of the other SeaWorld chain parks are getting coasters in back-to-back -back years. This would fit really good even though they already have a launch coaster. They are the only major SeaWorld park left that does not have a Skyrocket 2. And this is definitely by far the thing I think they would do. But there is another possibility and that coaster could come there in 2021. That is a B&M dive coaster. Also something that is likely as they have rumored something is is coming to the park and it does hint to a dive coaster maybe since the lake is in the middle of the park the drop could go underwater something like Yukon Striker that would be really cool it's something SeaWorld could do also do because they have added a lot of dive coasters 
And our last SeaWorld Park is next, and of course, that's SeaWorld San Diego, as in 2020, they are adding Emperor, their b and Dive Coaster, they have added coasters in three back-to-back -back years, actually, such as Electric Eel, Tidal Twister, and this year, Emperor. But something that has been talked about because of their height limit is an Intamin Launch Coaster, and this one will be pretty much low to the ground and not be the most extreme, even though they already have two other launch coasters. It would go in the place Place of the former Wild Arctic Ride because they are set to remove it, but also it could be Premier Rise Launch Coaster. But I would prefer an Intamin because they would have launch coasters from all three manufacturers if they did that. And of course, with Wild Arctic being removed, it would open up a decent amount of space to go with that. Now, as we head over to the only Bush Gardens park that will probably get a coaster in 2021, that is Bush Gardens Williamsburg. They are rumored to get this 355 foot tall shuttle coaster and just looking at this thing because the plans are coming from BGW fans and they have gotten things right in the past such as the exact layout for Pantheon. This thing is a shuttle coaster and will shoot you up that massive twisted spike and it was a little disappointing in my opinion if it is true but it still looks to be a fantastic ride. It will launch you about three times and will be named a Dragon Spire paying respects to the former ride's land it is going to be on and overall it does look to be a good ride but a very, very weird ride. Now, next, we have the probably biggest thing that will happen in 2021. That is at Dollywood, and they have labeled this as their biggest investment in park history, and it is their 35th anniversary. They actually are going to announce it very soon. Probably when you are seeing this video, they will have already announced it, but I have three coaster options here, and they are very, very big investments, which makes sense for what they are spending. It will be in the Wildwood Grove, Grove expansion area that is Wildwood Grove Part 2. So we have some great options. The first one is a BM Hyper Coaster. This would be great and it'll be the first true hyper and would be a big crowd pleaser. It would probably take over Wild Eagle as most of the people's favorite coaster in the park and it would be very fun. Probably the new second best coaster in the park and I could see this being very similar to Candemonium at Hershey Park. I would love this addition very much as it could go great on the skyline at Dollywood but my next option and possibility is a great one. That is a max spinning coaster and I could very much see this coming to Dollywood as they did in 2018 at Silver Dollar City. This could be very similar to Time Traveler. It could maybe even be better than Time Traveler as it has great potential and would probably have this like a theme very similar to the other rides in the Wildwood Grove and would be a fantastic as I would expect part two to be more thrilling than of course part one. And finally I have as the most likely that is an indoor launch coaster and it will probably be at an intimate launch coaster and I could see this being a very very similar to Vervolton located at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. It fits the bill, they are spending very well, and I could see lots of cool stuff on this coaster. Maybe a drop track and some launches would be very possible. Its theme would be a Wildwood Grove theme. Now, I honestly don't really know that it would be with an indoor coaster, but anyways, it's Dollywood, and I think they will do a great job with any of the coasters I have listed. So, as we get to the last park, obviously this is the most likely on the video, that is Lagoon, opening Primordial. Originally, this thing was going to open in 2020, and that's what we thought. Although, I could see this opening at the end of their season, which is not really likely because it is would only be open for like a month, but I would probably expect them to take their time a little more like they have been doing in open it in 2021. So, that will wrap up this video on the parks that could possibly get a coach in 2021. Now, obviously, these are not all going to happen, but it's just fun to predict and see what happens. So, what do you think about this video? Make sure to post that in the comments below, and of course, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this often. And see ya!